Hey everyone, I hope everyone you have a good day and life in general because life being life in. So today's topic will be um, what I will be doing this summer because you know, um, you know, I graduated from college two weeks ago and I got a lot to do this summer. Well, maybe, maybe something, but, um, yeah, so, um, I'm trying to figure out what, what I will be doing this summer, which I got quite a few, is one is attending, well, not attending, um, I will be speaking at two different virtual conference this summer and two i'm going to the naba which is called which means national association of black accounting convention in las vegas in june so i've never been to las vegas because you know i've been here in las vegas on tv and people talking about it but I never been to one, so that'd be my first. And, of course, some of my family members um, want to come with me. So, you know, never, like, been out this far. And also, you the airplane for the first time, so that's going to be new. And um, they need to go help me up. And plus, some of them went to um, Las Vegas before. They said that Las Vegas is a huge place and big, so... And they trying to help me navigate, you know, Las Vegas as well as how to learn how to use a uh, air flight. And I'm a little worried about that because, like, basically, like, since I've never been on the airplane before, I'm scared that basically you being autistic, my ear will be like, Beep! I'm like, I'm not waiting for that. But it'll be popping, you know, they not, the attitude is still to go, beep, beep. I'm, I'm not, I'm not waiting for that. You go, I might get my hair for from that shit because I'm not ready. So, so I got we prepare. So, and also, when looking at air tickets, they expensive. I'm like, damn, this y'all doing the most. But um, yeah, and um, so I'm just you know, well, somebody to come with me, whether or not they able to come with me or not to to the convention. So, and the reason um why that I wouldn't go to the Naval Convention in Las Vegas because I want to start my networking. Uh, uh, start, I mean, start to network with other professionals and as well as, you know, finding internship and jobs while I at it because I just graduated two weeks ago, two weeks ago with my bachelor's degree in accounting and finance. So I'm pretty excited about that one. And yes, I uh, already booked a room already, so I just need to find someone to go with me if they're able to. I just need to do the buy tip because, like, you know, I did, like, you know, <clears throat> you know, to have a room that have, like, two beds in and, like, two queen beds, you know, most hotels they have, so, yeah, so maybe some, like, my cousin want to come with me or my sister or anyone who want to come with me so hope they let me know by then you know they'll convince to be the next month so and also i um share a gofundme page on my social media pages to let you know get people to help me out with um you know help me pay for you know well get to you know, Las Vegas, of course, you got to get the hotel, which I already did. And also, um, also, I had not booked a flight yet, but I will till I know somebody who want to come with me. So, I already booked the room, which I'm good to go. And I just need to find someone to go with me. I, I will go take it to do it by myself, but they're like, no, girl. Someone need to come with you. <laughs> I'm like, Ugh. but yeah. So, 
I'm pretty excited. And um and uh, and also um we're going on next month other than go to NABA convention to network and find an county and find a job. I will be speaking at a virtual conference. And I don't know how to say that, but you know, but the the founder of the conference always kind of posting their social media right on their social media pages in different social media pages like Instagram, I think X, or it used to be Twitter. So um, I guess I could say it. Okay, and. I will be speaking at the virtual Ramp Your Voices conference. So I'll be like, I think one of the 20 speakers at the event. That's a lot of us. So, <laughs> so I will be speaking at the event and that start at June the 7th. So I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, June the 7th. I may be wrong, but let me check myself to be on the safe side. You know, I got my phone. Let me check. Let me check. I think it is the seven, but I would double check with y'all. Yep, June the 7th. Mm -hmm. June the 7th. So I'm pretty happy. And I think I may share around on my social media page. It could look like the person always list everybody's name including mine so that exciting so um i think i'm gonna share it so i'm happy and i'm very happy for the day come next month so and the other one and other virtual comfort as well um i'll be speaking there in july I think it's called Supernova Conference, if I believe. I could be wrong. I'm going to look at the email again. <laughs> I should be remember stuff about that. I'm like, Lord, mercy. Hold up. Let me see. Okay. It's called Supernova Painting Sum um, Summit. Summit, yeah. Summit, yeah. It'll be somewhere in July. And I guess I'll be on the artistic panel. I guess to talk talk about what it like to be artistic adult and you know have, you know being artistic in general. So I'll be on that panel. So that is exciting. I'm like, what? All that stuff going on right after I graduate from high, graduate from college, and also I um I got um accepted into grad school, and now we're going back. Um, to school in the fall at the same school, USC Greensboro. Go Spartan. Okay. And honey, like, I would think about, you know, applying other, you know, grad school as well. But, and I remember saying, like, a few years ago, back in my community college, I remember saying to myself, like, hey, I'm going to find one school and uh, both bachelor and master the county and do everything in one school at one time. And I did thought about going, you know, enroll in one school and go to the next one. I did thought about it. And I realized I'm like, that too much. <laughs> I wanna do it at the same school. So that's what I did. And um so I'm taking my master program online because, you know, my alumni school off of that so i'm going back in the fall and take my master's and also and uh, you know plan you know take classes you know basically why i'm here in the master program they're pretty challenging and rigorous so and um you know, i think i might be working one at it so um that i think i'm about to do and um And also, um, and also the reason why I'm wanting to get my master's because uh, my goal is to become a certified public county or CPA for short. And 
and you also you had to take for part of the CPA exam and you had to pass them within 32 months. It used to be 18 months, but I guess the new new um, testing for the CPA exam had changed. It had changed this year and decided to change from 18 months to 32 months. So, so I'm happy about that. And also with them make for the CPA exam, it's very expensive. So, not be hearing you know, any um company that may help you out, you know, paying for the um CPA exam if they're able to. But I know county firm they say, Yep, we're gonna help you pay for it. But, you know, I was trying to apply for a county farm, um, you know, corporate, maybe not non profit education, you know. But for me, like if I become a CPA and I want to work for a nonprofit because I did not know that I, you know, be a county and work for a nonprofit. I did not know that. I will like everybody need a county. Don't matter if like it's nonprofit, corporation, education, the government need accounting. Did I know that? Um in different um discipline like uh cost accounting forensic accounting everybody need accounting to run their stuff so that may i'm very approachable but then it's up to them if they want to hire me and, and that's the problem so so basic county and finding very competitive but i kind of familiar with the county field but i'm not so much familiar with the finance field so you know i don't major county and finance so um might have to look at the finance market as well, cause um, I'm gonna see what they offer and call that a day too. <laughs> I could work for the bank too, cause I got my major in, in finance, so I could work for the bank. I could work for a nonprofit, corporate, county firm, any place you that you could think of. But then I gotta figure out what company what i prefer so that had a what i need to figure out especially for this summer and i did i remember last week that i met um met um a career counselor a career counselor you know tell me like oh since you are graduating you need to apply many job as possible i'm like many job what the heck so i'm like so I did apply for a like few uh internship and jobs, so I'm I'm gonna try to keep looking around. Well, I'm, you know, uh, while I'm at it, and also you know, keeping my current um uh, job right now working at retail, and um keep that for a while until I find a county or find a job that you know who want to hire me on the spot. And maybe if I do get it this summer, if, if I do get it, I will, you know, you know, you know, leave the retail job for a county finance job. If I get, get accepted, if I get an offer and I'll be good to go. And yeah, I just started. Um, what else? Hmm. And of course, you know, um, of course, you know, men is on YouTube channel as usual. And of course, have a, um, Jabiba community. And, um, you know, I run a uh, community on the Javiva app. And, you know, I, you know, have conversation, do a lot, have conversation in the community, live discussion, group session. And I've been kind of basically like a community leader in that, in, in the community because I, I help create it. And, um, I'm running that. 
and I'm not on social media like I used to. And of course, like it seems like every time I go on my social media pages, I tend to get shadow bad and not getting views. And I don't know why. So like I know I know like in the past, especially on Twitter, now X, I used to get a lot of aggravated, I guess what I be saying be truthful with stuff. But I guess ever since I no longer associate myself with the artistic community, my act the algorithm kinda like working against me and I'm not posting like I used to. And I still focus on school at the time and working, I guess. The aggro kinda went down. With TikTok, it just then once in a while I get some views and other time I just don't get jet. So it's like usually on TikTok I never go nowhere. So and I ain't even know. Um, I get some, you know, algorithm from Instagram a little bit, but not really much. I'm trying, but this is what it is. I'm getting used to thread. Uh, I try to be on it, but I'm getting used to it. I'm not on Facebook that much, but I only use Facebook for, like, friends only, but... I, but it used to be for the public until my oh, my one well, my account got hacked, in, which they gave me. Oh hell, man! I was mad. Hell, my my old account got hacked, so it it no longer there. I was mad as hell, and I remember I had that account since middle school. I was mad as hell, and they had to took it down because someone took over my my old account so I had to create me a new Facebook account. But for now on, um I just my 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 Facebook account only just for friends only and of course, you know, I got family in there as well and friends. And activists friends on there. And that it. Um that one also try to send me some T shirt. Well well, if people want a t-shirt, but, but that is, but, um, I'm sure, you know, I might may, maybe sell t-shirts, you know, at the side hustle, if some reason, you know, where this comic going and life and life and we don't see how that go, but, um, yeah, that one, um, well, hey, my phone blowing up, and um, of course, um, as usual, going to therapy as usual. Um, and this summer, you know, of course, I'm continuing work at my current job to find me a county finance job. And going to different conference, two different conference virtually, and and going to that NABO convention in next month. So I'm happy that life. It seems like life right now it kind of go my way. But even though at the beginning or, or years ago, like I kind of like very not in the spirit of like what well, thing don't not go my way and blah 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 and. The same thing, it kind of go my way, you know, you know, basically going to the NABA convention next month. That does help me out, and I, I think I definitely going to share my um, GoFundMe page, you know, in the description if y'all want to help out, and if y'all had the fun because basically, you know, basically what is going on right now is a lot. And um you could share around, don't matter. Um and of course, you know, you don't I I don't share my personal life like that, but of course well, my mom she gone for chemo. Right now she be going she be going going to go um get 
go with the chemo since January. And look like the chemo is working, you know. She had to go, you know, back to hospital once in a while, you know, make sure the chemo is working, which it is. So I'm happy. But I hope she beat cancer and all that jazz and I'm happy, you know, the chemo is working, even though I would worry daughter, which I am. And my mom will get through it. It all matter. Um, that kind of got me worrying even during college. My last semester, before I before I even graduate, it got, got me nervous. So I'm like, oh my God, my mama, you know, you know, go for that, you know. Of course, I try to be there, you know, help out around the house as usual, you know. My mama got this, so, uh, yeah. Um, and also, the, just thinking back on my compliment, even this, this, this year, actually, I graduated. I'm speaking at two different conference, which I never thought I would be, you know, speaking at the speaking at a conference right after graduating from college. So that is kind of amazing. And um, and also I be thinking about that. What if, you know, going to you know speaking at an event. You know, if the people want me to speak at an event, speak at their event. And also, I kind of wonder, like, how is that going to work since I'm going to be a county or a financial person? And being an activist, I don't know how that works, but we're going to see. And maybe I could create a website or something, you know, you know. Me to being a professional or be like a counter and a speaker. Maybe create a website, you know, like, hey, this is who I am, what I do for a living. Maybe sell a teacher, which I do try to sell teacher through my Patreon. But, you know, I only got one person in there, which am I, you know, just one person in there. So, that is, but, um, it's what it is. Even though my marketing style not great, but but life been life, been, but I'm trying my best to keep the um, keep it up, but it's just a little hard. You try to do everything by yourself. Um, but I got a community who got my back. Especially though I run it in the Jeriba community, which is called No Diversity in Black. Have people who have the same you know value as me. Especially with me, like, you know, I'm a disability justice advocate. You know, it was at first just a disability rights advocate, you know, fight for the disabled people or is it more simply autistic people. But as I learned, people lack of intersectionality. So that's why I lean toward disability justice vibe instead of disability rights vibe. So, and basically, what I believe in now. It tend to be dis- disbe justice. So I'm a disbe justice advocate. So or activist, one of two, it don't matter. I can't use that interchangeably for some reason. But um either or I use both of them. I don't know why. But yeah. So um that I'll be doing of course, you know, if you wanna join the no diversity in black community, you have to work on your biases because, baby, people do not want to work on their biases at all. Like, they say they claim they're anti-racist, anti, anti, uh, anti, um, homophobia, anti-sexist, anti-everything, right? But they not want to do the work. And I noticed that a lot. They say, like, we have a sense of justice, or they want to, you know, work, you know, say they ally to a specific modular community, but then not work at their biases. And even though who are modular, not work at their biases. So, yeah. 
yeah even though i'm not perfect myself too and i will and we and i will like we live in the oppressed world and we're we're pe- bigots people all the time and it don't make sense like why people like this and i would never understand that so that will be doing this summer just you know going to um convention in Nava, which um which is start like mid june so i'm pretty excited about that and it lasts about a week where well, actually five day event so i'll be there all five because i never been a convention professional convention before so it's my first time so i'm gonna go all in <laughs> all five days because i never been to one even though i have a sister who been to all my dad's side of the family went to a convention and stuff she's like girl i don't know you want to do the whole thing but i'm like for me you know, like, i never been to one, so I'm going to go the whole thing, see, and get the feel what it would be like. Now we'll know in the next future, like, okay, maybe go to the such, you know, session. Depend on my interest, whatever, right? But right now, I'm going to go all in, because I've never been to a convention before. So, I'm going to go all damn five events, because <laughs> i never been. So, yeah. I never been one, so um, yeah. So uh, um, that was gonna be. So um, yeah, and of course, you know going to you know ram your voice conference so i'm gonna be in there so i'm gonna think i'm provide the link in the description as well and yeah man this description is gonna be freaking long bro <laughs> bob is in the link so in the description and and I also include my GoFundMe pay if you want to help out or share around. You know, or I don't care at this point. But, um, yeah, that's how we're going to do it. So, yeah. um, And go to the other virtual conference in July. Then August come. Going to grad school. And start my master program, and hopefully during the summertime, find me a county and find a job, and start my professional career if I able to get me one. Cause I need it, and also, I may find an internship this summer. Hopefully, if I do, I let y'all know. Maybe in the in the post on my YouTube channel. If I am to. But I hope I don't forget. You know, I'll be forgetting stuff these days. Come on, I'm getting older. So, yeah. My memory not good like it used to be. So, now I have to get Google Assistant to remind me. So, yeah, on my Google calendar. Who knows? Because I'll be forgetting stuff. So, um, that will be my summer. I should be proud of myself, all the compliments that I'll be doing, me being an activist, me being an activist, me graduating from college, and, you know, living life and healing, and where would this year bring me? Where would it bring? And also, pray for uh, Palestinian, Congo, so then everybody, because I know right now, they going through hell right now, but I hope they're okay. And I feel like shit not saying anything, even though I did say something about Palestine. Uh, but even though I'm not being, you know, posting around, talking, I ain't not being posting how, 
you know, what's going on with Einstein. Um, I may do a same with others because I usually like share, um, repost on my social media page, you know, what's going on. And, um, and I'm going to say something about this current situation we're going in. And God's up, because that don't make no damn sense. And, of course, hearing about Sudan and Congo and else places, they're the main, the, the main three because they don't deserve it. They don't deserve to be on the line because of who they are. They don't deserve it. And uh, I hope the people who trying to on the line there get the crown they get. If it's not on this earth, it'd be the man in the clouds going to get their booty hoes. Or... If you haven't watched Lucifer, the TV show, it might be that kind of vibe. So, well, they guilt in, hope the the devil uses shit against them. Cause, uh, if, they, if they get where it is in this earth, but the devil and God not let them forget what they did. So, yeah. So, best with God, you know. Even though I'm not a Christian no more, but, you know, God will mind them who did that trust to Palestinian, um, Congolese people, and Sudan people. They're going to let them know, like, uh-uh, you're not getting away with it. You're my guy went on earth, you're not getting away with me. And, of course, the devil be cooking, like, oh, yeah, if they, oh, if they, in my, in going my place, oh, yeah, I'm going to, ooh, I'm going to file their guilt and use it against them. But, you know, the devil love karma. So, <laughs> you know, that he does for a living. So, I'm going to say on that. And I hope y'all have a good day. And stay safe, y'all. Bye, y'all.